We are the restaurant brokers and we sell restaurants. We started the nation's largest restaurant brokerage firm over a decade ago. Atlanta, Georgia was our starting point, but our brand is spreading nationwide. We define restaurant brokerage and help buyers just like these. Our dream, our goal, open up a restaurant, love and life, <laughs> serving people breakfast and lunch, and then enjoying the rest of the day with them and ourselves. Buying an existing restaurant, leasing a closed restaurant space, or purchasing a restaurant franchise. We help buyers satisfy their appetite for acquisition. I'm part of a husband and wife team with this fella. Working with my wife has been a lot of fun. The ultimate goal for everybody here is to make this work. And because we have different strengths, we bring different angles to the deal. The process begins with our powerhouse website, WeSellRestaurants.com, where buyers sign online confidentiality agreements and browse restaurants for sale. Then we send buyers undercover to check out a restaurant and decide if it's the right one for them. Buyers get our proprietary business analysis tool with all the financial details on the business for sale. After studying the restaurant inside and out, it's back to our office. We are deal makers. We write contracts and negotiate terms for buyers and sellers. That's why we sell more restaurants than any other firm in the nation. We are the restaurant brokers. Our name says it all. You're back on the air with the restaurant brokers, Eric and Robin Gagnon of We Sell Restaurants, the industry leader in restaurants for sale, franchise restaurant resales, and site location for the food service industry. Our firm is franchising nationwide. We currently have offices in Florida, Colorado, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Georgia. You want to know more? Visit, visit us online at WeSellRestaurants.com. So we have got some great guests today, Tim Hanahan from GoGoBot and Ben Getz from Yelp. And Ben, I'm going to circle back around to something that you said because too many times I hear from restaurateurs or business owners that see they're kind of reacting to what's happening online. But you made a point about biz.yelp.com. I'd love mm-hmm. for you to expand on that and the tools that are available for business owners kind of take possession of their online presence. Sure. Yeah, it's uh, it kind of harkens back to, you know, the whole thing with like, do you have a Facebook profile or do you have a Facebook page? So um, the thing about Yelp is, you know, you can have a Yelp account, just a Yelp.com, like where you can write reviews and post photos and you know, connect with other people on Yelp.com. But if you're a business owner, you can go to biz.yelp.com. It's a completely separate website specifically made for business owners. So if you head there, you can actually sign up for an account. It just takes like your company email address or whichever email address you choose to operate from. And you can actually claim your business listing on Yelp. So like, let's say you're you know, uh, Joe's burger joint and you have like 150 reviews on your site and you have a four and a half star rating and, you know, people are, you know, going crazy and yelping about you on a daily basis. Like, you know, you can take control of this business listing and there's a, there's a whole suite of tools for free available to business owners where, you know, you can not only see how people are finding your business on Yelp and there's a whole statistical breakdown of like where people are, you know, forwarding phone calls and looking for directions on how to get to your restaurant. But also you can respond to reviews either publicly or privately. Um, You can upload your own photos. You can change your information, something as simple as like your hours, your website, or if you have a new link to your menu, um, all different types of stuff. So it's biz.yelp.com. And and there's a whole rundown of things that you can do on how you can either connect with your consumer base a little bit more deeply, or you can really tell even more of your story about your business through this platform. Great, great uh, advice. That is wow. Phenomenal. Yeah. That is great. Tim, what about GoGoBot? Do you have a secret sauce like this? <laughs> sure. Yes, we, we, yes, we do. <laughs> we have um, on every business page, we have a section called Business Tools where the business owner can go in and make sure that they have all the right information there, but also see the reviews of, of what people are already saying about the business. Um, and, you know, in addition to adding additional information, making sure that users have the, the full view of your, of your business, you can also um, get a badge if you're highly rated on GoGoBot, that you can put on your own website to link people to get to those reviews. So it's easy for you to share where there's great reviews and great things being said about your business to point people in that direction. And then we also have an email address, partnertools at gogobot.com, where you can reach out to get that sticker if you want to put it in your window to prompt people to, to keep posting great reviews on GoGoBot. Great. That's a lot of tools here. And, and of course, there's no cost to, to the owners. They just have to go claim it, which is great. Absolutely. And I know we talk about good reviews here for a, a good while here, the first segment, and we talk about that. But if I'm a restaurateur, you know, what are the key things? I mean, as a restaurateur, i got to focus on 100 things a day. Mm-hmm. Very difficult to accomplish all of them with greatness. But what are the key 
I guess, deliverables that you guys see that are so important to get the good either GoGoBot or Yelp reviews. Uh, ben, you want to start us on – what are the, the three, maybe three or four things that restaurateurs should really pay attention that's going to really drive good reviews on, on, on the online sites? Yeah, you know, I mean, the the number one thing that I would always tell any business owner, and again, like, you know, this is, um, you know, it's not exactly like, you know, novel advice from me specifically, but it's always just provide great customer service behind a great product. And I know that sounds like maybe a little bit kitschy, but it's so true. You know, I mean, the the thing that we find on Yelp is, you know, the majority of three, four, or five star reviews always mention good or great customer service. And, you know, that really has something to say about how people want to be treated as a customer. You know, they don't want to be belittled. They don't want to feel, you know, small in the eyes of a business owner. Like they really want to, you know, kind of be a a partner in that sense of, you know, I want to experience your business in the best way possible. And I want you to provide me the best service possible because, you know, the and especially in a city like Atlanta where people are so busy, you know, they're just back and forth between work and home and work and home. And then, you know, building in, you know, where they're actually spending their money, you know, they really they can't really bank on, you know, having a negative experience because it's never going to make them want to go back because it's it's so much to build into their day. So definitely customer service. And then, you know, especially like I, I think it's all about, I mean, again, education. You know, I think one of the one of the great things for people um, that, you know, for business owners that they can do with people as they're in their business or in their restaurant is I think it's great to just remind people like, hey, you can actually find us on Yelp. You, know, you can read about other reviews. You can see other photos of like, you know, what we've done previously or, you know, menus that we've gone through previously. And I mean, I think it's just about bringing that information top of mind. And that still lets a lot of this great content come organically. Yeah. Love that. How about you? How about you, Tim? What do you see? Sure. Now, I would definitely say the customer service comes up frequently in, in positive reviews. There's no doubt that delivering great customer service is critical. The one other, The one other point I would make is that With these review tools and the information that users can get before they come to your restaurant, they're coming with an understanding of what what the experience is that they're likely to have. So it's important to know what people are saying and who they think their business is best suited to so that you're, you're catering that experience, you're making sure that you're fulfilling on those expectations. That's great information. And i got to tell you, I, I'm leaving here today and going and fixing my Yelp account. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope everybody listening is doing the same thing. Is that the takeaway from today's show? Go to biz.yelp.com and put some time in. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're a business owner, I mean, I think it's a great way to just spend, you know, somewhere between like five and ten minutes, and you can just build out your full profile about your business, about you as the manager or the chef or the you know, managing partner, and just really tell you know the full story for people as they're finding your business on Yelp. Because I mean, so many people are looking up information. I mean, on a daily basis, like people are flocking to Yelp not only from the desktop site but from the mobile, you know, from the mobile app and the mobile website. I mean, like people are on the go and like they want to know about where they're going. So I would highly recommend if you're a business owner and you haven't taken a chance to check out biz.yelp.com, again, just take like that five, ten minutes and just spend a little bit of time on there and see what's available, claim your business, and go from there. Good advice. And don't forget to gogobot.com and get your sticker. You can claim your your, your, your page as well, right, Tim? Exactly. We, we try to make it very easy, both for our users and for our business partners, to get the right information out there um, so that people can be matched up with the businesses that are perfect for them. I love this show today. Learned so much so from much. Tim Hannon at GoGoBot and Ben Getz from Yelp, who shared with us really the most important thing I've heard in a long time, how you take control of your destiny online. Don't react. Don't be a reactionary, but to kind of taking control of that um, online presence and so many ways that you can do it. This is Eric and Robin Gagnon. You know us. We are the restaurant brokers. We sell more restaurants than any other brokerage firm in the nation. Take a quick minute. Find us on Twitter at Sell Restaurants. You better go to our Yelp page and write a great review. We're going to be checking it out. And join us next week and in the next segment as we share more about this great industry. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.